At long last, graduation day is here. Today, you are about to witness another memorable day and an event in your child's life. Three school days are about to end and your son will soon be climbing another step on the ladder of education. The past couple of years have turned our lives and our world upside down. Unexpectedly, we had to make a transition to the world of remote learning. This was a challenge and a new learning experience to all of us, teachers, our children and our parents. Together, we made a conscious effort to develop practices and hone new skills in order to cope with the changing landscape of education. Parents, we thank you sincerely and truly appreciate all you did to help make the past academic year a successful one in spite of the challenges surrounding us. We thank you for virtually allowing us to be a part of your family during this time. Boys, your parents and teachers are proud of the things you learned this year. Now that normal school will soon be starting with a new academic year, you will be able to meet and make new friends. You will learn to study and play together and have fun in school. To our dear parents, we wish you to be a pillar of strength to your child. This graduation is a testament to all the support and guidance that you have given your child. All the hard work and sacrifices you made to make sure that your child has reached this stage and is ready to face the next challenge. Let us also be open and adaptable to the ever-changing landscape of our future. Boys, today as you graduate kindergarten, remember to continue to take on challenges, to be loving, to love learning, to laugh, and to be all that you can be. Most importantly, learn to thank God for every single day. Once again, to the graduating class of 2022, congratulations and all the very best for your future. Good luck in Standard 1 and God bless.
21, 22. Excellent boys, brilliant minds. It's a really amazing to see how they have been growing. We were all practically locked and shattered because of the COVID-19. And the hope was totally crushed. My dear friends, but this is our hope. This is our courage. And the way they have instilled back the faith in us, and they are the ones who have put our lives back on the track. St. Vincent's High School and Junior College welcomes you their parents for this benedictory day. Today is a bright sunny day and the students are both here and they are going to be graduating from the kindergarten to the first. It's been an interesting journey and they are troubled at the same time the past you see was already for them. They were locked up. But nobody, nobody could lock their dreams. Nobody could lock their inspiration. Today I would like to thank all of you because you are the ones who have taken care of them. You are the one who have inspired them. My dear parents and the teachers, they constantly work. My teachers I would like to thank because they took to different kinds of a platform. They were all busy students in the classroom. We were all busy students on the ground. We were all busy students towards the spring pool. But in spite of all these difficulties, today we see that they have grown. And they have acquired skills, knowledge, competences. And that will surely help our students to go on to build their lives to go on to become our future leaders in a small and simple way. My dear friends, I know some mothers take a lot of care and they also constantly see that their uh, sons and daughters capture, catch values. So these values are taught at home. I would like to teach, I would like to call on teachers to teach students to be happy. Keep a, a, such a kind of a direction where the students are able to understand and to grasp, at the same time, acquire courage and knowledge that will help to build their own lives. What actually happens is this, we take care of their studies, but we must see that our students are able to be happy. They are able to share their things. They are at the same time able to face the difficulties that will come in their lives. I know we all of us have faced these difficulties because our parents Saw the way that we are on a well foundation. In a similar fashion, we will have to train our students so that they are able to face the future. Most of the psychologists go on to tell that what actually we need to train our sons and daughters is to be happy. Basically, education is a building of an attitude, attitude of gratitude that our teacher was talking about. My dear parents, we will have to insist. Automatically we see that they are clever students, they are bright students, they will go on to become writers, engineers and doctors, but at the same time attitude, what kind of attitude we want to have? My dear parents, if they have a bright attitude, positive attitude, and that is going to really help them. We also must see that our students go on to become problem solving. You see there are a lot of problems in the world and we must see that our students are equipped with the knowledge and skills that they efficiently solve the problems in the world. I know that I will have to shift my speech addressing parents and at the same time keeping in mind graduating students of today. My dear parents, it has been a great joy to see them back, to see them learn and acquire skills and knowledge at the same time competencies. We ourselves have seen the students coming forward, delivering a speech, delivering prayer and at the same time present to us that they can stand in front of such a august gathering and speak to them. I know you have shown a faith in St. Vincent's and the teachers. So on behalf of St. Vincent's High School and Junior College, I thank all of you, welcome you and I am sure together you, teachers and we will see that our students go on to become great leaders in the world. 
Sanjeev Sanjeev Ramji to God bless Sanjeev Sanjeev.